All right, you guys, this uh, lesson is uh, to get us ready for a quiz, an upcoming quiz. So here we go. So chapter five quiz. Now I'm going to do this board problem here because it's, it helps us in this lesson right here. So it says find all the possible rational roots. Rational roots means it's a fraction or a form of a fraction. So this will give us the, the fractional roots uh, or form of a fraction. And there's supposed to be a plus sign right there. So anyways, let me change that to a plus. Okay. And then so what we do is we um, uh, find all the factors of 10 over all the factors of 4. So uh, 1 goes into 10, 2 goes into 10, uh, 5 goes into 10, and, and 10 goes into 10. And then all the factors of 4, never mind this... Uh, uh, work right here. So here's all the factors of 4. 1 goes into 4, 2 goes into 4, and 4 goes into 4. So 1 over 1, 2 over 1, 5 over 1, 10 over 1, and then all of them over 2, and then all of them over 4. And so here they are. There's all the possible box numbers that we do when we synthetically divide right here. So that helps us do what's called the rational roots theorem. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify um, uh, these expressions here. Okay, so powers raised to powers, we multiply those. So we'll go ahead and multiply those here. So 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, so we'll get x to the 6th, y to the 9th, and we still have this x to the 4th and y to the 1st right there. Now we add these exponents. So we have 6 x's here, we have 4 more there, so there's going to be 10. Similarly, 9 plus 1 is also 10, so x to the 10th, y to the 10th. Okay, on this one here, on number two, we're going to flip this guy, make it go downstairs, and make this uh, negative power. If it's a negative power, then it gets flipped. So if it's in the numerator negative power, then it goes down here. If it's in the denominator negative power, it goes up there. So there they are being flipped right there, and then we can just go ahead and add these exponents. So this is going to get y to the 8th, and then down here, and again, uh, x to the 8th, okay? And then we'll cancel. 3 goes into 15 five times. So we get an answer like that, okay? All right, so this one here, um, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can do powers to powers with this, or you can flip it because you got a fraction to a negative exponent, but and then, you know, just take care of it at the end. I think I did powers to powers, so 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and then so I have x to the negative 6, and then negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8, so I have y to the positive 8 downstairs. And then this one has a negative exponent, so it's going to get flipped downstairs, so there's uh, nothing left on top except a hidden 1. So it's 1 over x to the 6th, y to the 8th. Okay, so now we're going to graph this function right here, x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3. Okay, so for the rational roots theorem, we just start picking factors of 3 over factors of 1, and we just start guessing. We only have 4, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3, and it turns out 1 works. So here's 1. Okay, so, I'm sorry, negative 1 works. I'm sorry, negative 1 works. So, so it's going through x equals negative 1 right there. And then here's the condensed quadratic equation. It's 1 degree less than this guy. So this was a, a, to the third. This is to the second. So this is x to the second minus 3x plus 3. Now there's no factors of, uh, sorry about that, there's no factors of 3 that add to negative 3, so we can't find the other one, so we need to just build a table. So here we'll build a table, and notice it's centered around x equals negative 1. So negative 3, negative 2, and there's no negative 1 in there, because we know negative 1 is a 0 right there. And we just want to see where are these going to graph. And we plug these back up into the original guy right up here. So we're going to plug in negative 3. So negative 3 I did that work down here. It gets me negative 42. Oh, another thing, too, you guys, is since this is x cubed and it's a positive right there, then it's going to start down here and it's going to end up here and it's going to have two humps to it. It'll either have two humps or no humps. So this one will have two humps because it has some x garbage with it. If it didn't have any x garbage, there'd be no no humps, okay? So it'll have two humps. I know it's going to go something like this. There would be one hump and then go down two humps. So that picture is going to be somewhere floating around in here and these points are going to help us. All right, so I know at negative 3 right there, it's way down off the chart, way down here. Okay, so let's plug in negative 2. All right, and I'm not going to graph that one. So negative 2 is at negative 13. All right, well, that's way down there. Okay, that's giving me a general idea that it starts down here and it's going to come up through here. Plug in 0, 0, 0, 3, so we can graph 0, 3. All right, and then uh, we'll just plug in the rest of them right there, and so we get those. And so do you see the general picture? It's going up, it's going up, and then it starts going back down, and then it shoots up forever, never, ever land. So up at 312, 312 would be way up here. Okay, so there's our graph right there.
and then uh, it doesn't say state it but let's go ahead and state it our local max is right there it's always a y coordinate so this is the the ordered pair zero comma three so it's the y coordinate your local max here the local min right here is at y equals two it's always a y answer your local max and min so this ordered pair is at one two over one up two but your local minimum uh, is at y equals two okay all right so this one's easy stuff right here. Perform the indicated operation. You're just combining like terms. You should get that. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, here we're going to do the claw method. Uh, I call it, so I'll multiply uh, the x through. I think I did it in blue, and then I'll multiply the negative 4 through. So I think I did that in red. Let's see, am I right? Yeah. So see, I call it the claw method. Can you see the claw going over here? And rawr, rawr, that's the claw method. All right, so there's all the blue, there's all the red, and then combine like terms, and then that would be your answer. Okay, easy enough. All right, so let's factor completely. Okay, so here is a sum of cubes. You need to recognize that 125 is 5 cubed. Okay, so those go by times tri. Okay, a binomial times a trinomial, and then we soap it. Same sign as this, so a plus sign opposite sign so this is going to be a minus and then always positive this sign is always positive so that'll be a plus right there okay and then um so that's what the s o a p means and i say soap it so we always do binomial times trinomial by times try and then soap it with the signs okay and then the things that are being cubed go in this binomial so x and five go in there okay and then what you do for these guys is that first term is you square it and then you square five and that's what goes over here and then you just multiply this uh, x times five gets us five x that's the middle this trinomial will never factor so there's the answer right there okay so this guy right here we can GCF out a 3x squared, and then we have x squared plus 4x minus 32, and then this factors to a by times a by, okay? So just treat it like um, you know, you're a trinomial right here, and then we say factors of negative 32 that add to 4 are 8 times 4, so plus 8 minus 4. Okay, now the sum of uh, with a square will never factor, but this will factor. This is a difference of squares. That factors to x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, all right, so find all the zeros. Okay, so here we're going to use our rational roots theorem. Okay, so factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6, and 12 over factors of 1. Hopefully 1 or negative 1 works. So let's try 1. Hey, 1 works. Hooray. So here's one of the roots right there. Okay, and if 1 didn't work, I'd try negative 1. And if negative 1 didn't work, I'd try 2. I want to get 0 right here. And as soon as I get 0, then this is my 1 degree less than this guy. So this is to the third, so this is squared. x squared plus 7x plus 12. So we're, now we're going to solve that equals 0. So that factors to x plus 4, x plus 3. So don't forget this root, 1. And then when we set this equal to 0, minus 4, minus 4, minus 3, minus 3, we get the roots. Um, uh, negative 4, negative 3, or 1. So when it says find the zeros, that means solve. When it says find the roots, that also means solve. So find the solutions or roots or zeros. They all mean the same thing, okay? All right, so uh, lastly, you guys, write a polynomial function with rational coefficients. Again, rational coefficients are just fractions or forms of fractions. Uh, and the leading coefficient of 1. So we've got to have like a 1x to the 4th or whatever, okay? And it has zeros, negative 4, and then 5 plus root 2. Okay, now, um, uh, if 5 plus root 2 is a root, then so is 5 minus root 2, okay? So if those are all roots, then x minus all of those are factors. So x minus this guy, x minus this guy, x minus this guy. That's what this says right here. All right, so we're going to foil out these two guys first. So let's go ahead and clean it up and put the minus through the parentheses right there. So this becomes x minus 5 minus root 2. This becomes x minus 5 minus a minus root 2, which becomes plus root 2, okay? All right. And then, of course, the x minus a minus 4 is x plus 4. Okay, let's foil out these guys right here. So I think I did that in colors right there. Yes, I did. Okay. All right, so here I'm going to do the blue x all the way through. So there's that blue x going through. And then I'm going to do uh, the negative 5. I did that in gold. So there's negative 5 being distributed. And then I did the negative root 2 in red. There it is. And then always on these your radicals will disappear so this x root 2 and this negative x root 2 are gone 
this negative 5 root 2 and this positive 5 root 2 are gone. They will always disappear, otherwise we made a mistake. And so it would be the same if this was like 5 plus i, then 5 minus i would be a root also. And all at this stage right here, all the i stuff would cancel. It would just be, instead of having roots, it would be i's. Okay, all right, so then uh, can clean it all up and then combine like terms. And then so so this piece right here, this guy factors to this. Now we still got to multiply it by the x plus 4. So now we're going to go ahead and multiply the x through and then the 4 through. So here we go. There's the x going through. There's the 4 going through, combining like terms. And that would be your answer. Okay, you guys take care.